Well, hey there, moviegoers. It's Alex again with another edition of Talkies. This looks really stupid. This week, I'd like to talk to you guys about Hop. Hop is the new children's Easter-themed movie rated PG, directed by Tim Hill, starring James Marsden, Kaylee Cuoco, and featuring the voices of Russell Brand and Hank Azaria. The film follows a young rabbit named E.B., the next in line to become Easter Bunny, and a man named Fred O'Hare, who's having some trouble getting on his feet. All E.B. wants to do is play the drums, and all Fred wants to do is something great. E.B. runs away to California where he meets Fred, and the two work together to try and see their dreams come true. First in the cast is James Marsden. Marsden plays Fred O'Hare. Get it, O'Hare, because... Yeah. Personally, I think Marsden is an incredibly underrated actor. He's in all kinds of films and has the ability to just fit in. In Hop, he was cool. He had some funny moments and some slapsticky moments, but overall it wasn't his best. He was kind of two-dimensional and childish, but still kind of funny. Next is Russell Brand, who provided the voice of E.B. E.B. Easter Bunny, it's... it's funny. Brand is one of my favorite comedians around, and he's actually proving to be an excellent actor. I thought his voice brought a whole heck of a lot to both the character and the movie as a whole. His delivery is so spot on in whatever he does, and Hop is no exception. If you're a fan of his, this character will definitely provoke a few chuckles. Next is The Big Bang Theory's Kaylee Cuoco. Cuoco plays Fred's sister, Sam. Stinks for Marsden having to play Kaylee Cuoco's brother. I think Cuoco is actually a very funny and talented actress with great timing. In this film, it's pretty much typical Cuoco. Just cute, funny, nice to look at. Nothing groundbreaking, but nothing disappointing. Lastly is Hank Azaria, who voices the film's villain, Carlos. Carlos is a chick who works on the factory on... Easter Island. <laughs> hmm. Carlos has been doing grunt work for too long and plans to overthrow the Easter Bunny and become the new symbol of Easter. Now, I love Azaria. He's actually probably one of my favorite comedic actors. But this character wasn't really funny, and its placement in the movie was a little awkward. It just didn't mesh. So this movie actually starts out pretty strong. It's got a real Willy Wonka feel to it, and it draws you in with both the design of E.B. and Marsden's lovable oaf character. And you don't even mind all the Easter shtick. However, over time, the characters fail to develop. The story seems really hokey, and the shtick gets old. Real old. Personally, I think the best part about it was Brand's voice performance. It just made for a lot of hilarious one-liners, a lot of which go right over your head if you're not used to Brand's comedic style. I'd imagine kids would have a hard time getting everything he said. And even if they did, I don't think young children really understand his kind of humor. Other than that, the movie just seemed poorly planned out. There were some major plot devices that just seemed way too forced. And a lot of just awkward concepts. And I know what you're thinking. It's a kid's movie, it's just supposed to keep them entertained. I don't know why you're wearing that stupid bunny hat. But I couldn't agree more. The problem is, every kid in that theater got bored very quickly. And the story, I feel, isn't really enough to keep any adult interested. It was just kind of a miss. In conclusion, I would like to give Hop a 4 out of 10. I think this is one you should rent next Easter. But I wouldn't rush to theaters to see it. So that is it for this week's edition of Talkies. Signing off for FingerLakes1.com, my name is Alex Sinecropi, and what I really want to do is direct. I'll see you guys later. At Finger Lakes 1